Hey everybody, my name is Rebecca and welcome to Yarn and Pajamas. Today is Crochet Podcast number 27. So today I've got a few finished objects to show you. I'm going to talk about a whip I'm working on, but I forgot it downstairs. So yeah, and I thought about going and getting it, but it's already getting pretty light and I want to be able to get all of this finished and put it up tonight. So we're just going to hop right on in and I'm going to show you what I got finished. So the first thing that I got finished, well, we'll start with this one. It was a whip last week, but it's all finished now. And it's this cute little snowman, Amigurumi. Um, he does not set up on his own. I believe it's because his head is too heavy, but he does lean pretty good. And I made this out of um, scrap balls of Burnett Blanket yarn. Um, this was a free pattern that I found online. I'll put a link down below. It's, I don't know, I just typed in Snowman Amigurumi and this popped up. So, yeah. So, um, I used white. It was a scrap ball of white. And then there is this blue. I'm not sure what color the blue is. I made this little snowflake out of crochet cotton thread. And then the nose, his nose here is made out of um, pumpkin, red heart pumpkin. I put in some, you know, blush on. He's been outside, his little cheeks has gotten so cold. Um, I used, I'm gonna say, I think it's like 15 millimeter eyes. It was some pretty big ones. Stitched on his little mouth and his little eyebrows um the pattern tells you not to sew the hat down but i did because it is going to a um 10 year old so you know just to help it so you can kind of push it up and see his expression and then the buttons oh my the journey i had with those buttons so i was looking for the perfect um little buttons to get for him isn't he so cute oh i just love him um i just can find um the flat colorful buttons anywhere so i finally found a pair of joann's that were gold so i just i took him in to joann's and i went to the paint section and i just put him up next to the paint and found a blue that was as close as I could get to him. And then I just, um, I roughed up the button real good and I put just like a couple coats of paint. And then to make it shiny, I, there was like some kind of varnish back there in a the little bottle. And I just put like one coat of that on there. So yeah, I think this is gonna be more of a decoration than a toy, but still wanted to make it as durable second here is the back of him so yeah I was pretty excited to get him finished so now I need to get him all mailed off okay so the next thing oops sorry hit you guys that I have um, finished is a Christmas gift for Danette I didn't quite get it finished at Christmas time but it is finished now and it is this cute little beehive gnome. Here he is. Let me see if I can get him to balance up. Isn't he just so cute? So he's got his little um, sunflower, his little bee. This is um, the door. I always wondered like what that was on when I looked at it, but it's the door and there's honey dripping out of it. And as you can see, it's like, like that. So I used um, Chef Yay's Katona Cotton for the whole thing. And I used the color, this is called Topaz, and it's the same for his bottom, Topaz. This is Caramel. I believe this is either Shell or Petal Peach, one of the two. Same goes for the nose. So this is a piece of wire if you can see it and I just wrapped some yarn around it and then the pattern it's not twisted like that but I thought it looked cuter being twisted so just 
just twisted it. But um, it is root beer wrapping it. So we've got root beer here in the middle of the sunflower. The petals are yellow gold. And for the honeybee, we've got snow white for the wings. I used a tiny little scrap scrap piece, it wasn't even a ball, of um, jet black. And then a tiny, it was like a big long scrap piece of lemon for it. And his little antenna, I just took um, pieces of the black and just strung it up. She had wire sticking through hers, but I was like, oh, that looks like too time consuming. And then for his little beard, this is another um, yarn felting. I got some of the felted um, wool, wool felting um, from Hobby Lobby and put his little beard on. And I'll tell you, I'm getting quite used to doing it this way and I'm really liking it. It's, this one's not as, um, I have, I still haven't sent my um, gnome here <laughs> to its home, but it's not as fluffy as this one, but it's still good. I really like the fluff. Yes. So I was really proud that I got him finished. So, so far for the year, I've got how many whips done? One, two, three, four. So I've accomplished four things. And that's just going to take us right on in to what I'm currently working on. And I have been working on another whip, and it is another gnome. It's that Statue of Liberty gnome. Um, I took it, me and Danette, on this past Saturday. We went to um, down around Indy um, in Fishers and went to the Ikea. I had never been to Ikea before, so I had um, a lot of fun. That was, like, so cool. I really liked it. Um, so I took that to work on because I didn't want to take her now because I didn't want her to see it and um I didn't want to take anything that was gonna you know if I messed it up it was gonna be a big deal so I just took that and I got a little bit of headway on it not a whole lot because you know we spend most of our time talking to each other but yeah so I've been working on that and I've been working on my Stitcher library project I've been really um in tune with it this go around so i've been spending a lot of my time there yeah okay i did want to show you guys some things that i got from ikea while i was down there that was um pretty beneficial to my um, crochet life well the first thing i got that actually works is this little container right here. It's like a little thing and it will set on your um, cart, your crochet cart. Well, that's what I call it, or a whip caddy. And I put it on like the end of the crochet cart. There's like, you know, how like the bars come up and then it separates it into two. It fits perfectly on um, one on either side. So I did buy um, two of these and they were like 99 cents a piece. I don't even think they have a name. But they had this color and like a green color, I think. So I just went with white. I did buy one more thing that turned out not to work. Let's see. I don't know what I've done with it. But I bought it for my pegboard. It was like a little cup to put onto the pegboard. And um, Ikea's dimensions for their pegboard is not the same as a just general pegboard. So the little things are too wide apart. So they won't fit next to this or they won't go down to the next one or the next one. So I guess I would have to do a complete overhaul of my pegboard. And that may be like a project for the future because their pegboards were real nice. Okay. So so that's going to take us right on in to upcoming. And upcoming, I would like to finish the Statue of Liberty Gnome since I have it started. I really do want to make some headway on my 
Stitch Your Library project. And you know what? That's what I'm going to focus on right now. I feel like, I feel like since I'm feeling so in tune with this SYL project that I need to just spend time with it because if you have watched any of my SYL videos, you know that me and this rap, we are not been, we've not been friends at all. I mean, we've not even been frenemies. We've been flat out enemies, I feel like. But right now we're gelling. I'm in tune with it. It's going great. It's going smooth. I do stop every, you know, a little bit and look and make sure that all of my things are lined enough and that I've not missed anything. So I don't crochet a whole bunch and have to rip it out. So yeah, that's what I have been doing. And there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys before we get into the giveaway winner. But I have my um, crochet journal here. And I wanted um, to show you guys how to do, ow. Oh my goodness, I was gonna show you guys how to do the, um, this little thing. I'll have to add a clip in because I need my phone and I'm talking to you guys through my phone. So, uh, nuts. Oh, here's that little cup. So this is the little cup that I got. It was like $2.99. See how it, it hooks? But alas, it doesn't work with my board. So one of these days I will upgrade and get some of those because they were really nice. I really did like them. Okay, but I, well, I guess I'll just show you my uh, journal anyways, and maybe next week I can um, show you guys more of it, or, and I can just take a clip of printing it, but, so I've got my stuff here, and I've left a space over here to attach a picture somehow, Oops, my calendar fell out and hit me in the face. And then on the next page, I kind of went to the other side, oops, and wrote and put it there, like so that I could put my picture on this side. I did buy me a calendar, a planner, because I was having trouble keeping up with what Wednesday my Stitcher Library was on. So I bought me a little calendar and I have wrote it in, I think all the way, yes, I went all the way to the end of the year. So I know <laughs> um, which Wednesdays that falls on. Okay. So when I keep it inside of my journal. Okay, so let's move on in and to find out who the giveaway winner is. So I'm going to pause you guys. I'm going to run and get my uh, iPad because I forgot it downstairs too. So yeah, hold on just a second. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got the iPad. I've got it set to record. So we're just going to hop right on in and um, choose this winner. And I can't, I've got everything packed up back here. Um, so I'm not going to pull everything out. Um, of the box, but if you want to be refreshed on what all is in here, I'll link the video to where I showed everything down below in the comments. Oh, and speaking of just everything that all the patterns and stuff that I've mentioned, I will put in the comments as well. Not the comments, but the description. Description. Okay, so let's open comment picker. Our internet is probably not going to be the greatest because it is so windy outside. I don't know if you guys have been able to hear that or not. Okay, we're going to paste. We'll filter duplicates. Of course, let's include replies. There was no specific text. If you commented, you were entered. So let's get the comments. 95 unique comments. We had us a good party, didn't we? Oh, that was pretty awesome. Okay, so let's make it bigger up here and let's hit start and let's see who's gonna win. Sue Russell, congratulations. 
to Russell, she has to say, congratulations on your one year anniversary. Really enjoy your visiting me. Happy New Year. Wow, what a great giveaway. Well, congratulations, Sue. And I'm going to need you to email me. My email is in the description box down below. It's yarnandpajamas at gmail.com. Email me and give me your pertinent information. And I can give this, uh, get this stuff sent out to you. Yes. So exciting. Congratulations, Sue. And I want to thank everybody who, um, you know, who stopped by and partied with us and blew out that candle. Um, the cake wasn't very good. <laughs> we ended up throwing it away. I did eat a piece of it, but I kind of just like rushed it because it just came to me that day like, oh, let's make a cake. But you know, next year I'll do us better. Next year we'll have us a good cake. But I want to thank everybody for all the support that you've given me and everything it has been it was so much fun i've had a blast that first year on youtube and we're gonna have a blast this second year on youtube right but before i go i do have one more thing so remember how i said that i was gonna give away a gnome bundle every month yeah we're gonna go ahead and do the january's giveaway right now today so, let me open up the calendar. So, today is the 11th. So, next Tuesday on the 18th, we will choose a winner for the January Gnome. And for the January Gnome, I've chosen, it could be two. There's two possible gnomes that you could make. So, and they're from different um, pattern designers. So first we have um, the Valentine Gnome from Pam Pino Store. Isn't it so cute? I'll pop in a picture over here of him. Now I did make him last year um, and he was such a joy to make. I really did love making him and I think that one of you guys will enjoy making him too. But as I was going to look for his colors, I came across this one from Muffacorn, and I thought that, oh, I need to possibly put enough yarn in there that this one could be made. If so, choose. If you choose, whatever. So, Muffacorn's is two, or you could just make one, and Pampino Stores is one. So, I believe that there is enough yarn to make the one from Muffacorn. I think so. I feel like I bought enough yarn for it. I specifically bought the amount of yarn for this. So, you guys ready to see that yarn? I am. I'm ready to show you guys. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh, you know what? I forgot to stop recording on the iPad. So we'll hit stop there. Okay, so here's what we've got down in here. So for the red, we've got this beautiful, and this is blowing out. It's not really this that bright, but it's called Poppy Rose. It's the same red that I used. Um, it's like, I don't know how to make it not blow out. Well, that just put it in the shadow, but it's a, it's a, it's a very pretty red. It's not that bright of a red though. And then for his body, I don't, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't feel like it was anything that I had. I don't know. For his body, we have this metal gray. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Getting ahead of myself. So you get a 50 gram ball of Poppy Rose and you get a 25 gram ball. So you get 75 grams. I do believe that this will make two hats. I do believe so. And you get the same 
and this metal gray. You get a 50 gram ball and a 25 gram ball. So you get 75 grams for this. I think I used this metal gray on mine, but I think I used hot red was the red I used. But I just uh, done a one with this red and I really liked it, so. So you're also going to get your need white. So on the Muffacorn one, there's definitely a lot of whites on it. And of course, we're going to go with this uh, milky white color. It's called Old Lace. I had it the right way the first time. It's a milky white color. And then you, of course, need a skin tone. So I have down in here, um, it's just peach. But remember, um, if you want a different skin tone color, just let me know. Um, and so, if you need a different color, you can let me know as well. But I'll remember, try to remember to ask you. Now, another thing that you're going to need are these um, pipe cleaners. So, I've got two of them, just in case. Um, I did have to thread a pipe cleaner through mine, and that's what... How it makes you make the heart bendable on his hat. You will also need a hook to do all of this with. So I have here a Clover Amore. It's the B, the 2.25 millimeter. Oops. I won't throw it down on the floor. And then, of course, you are going to need to purchase that pattern. And we got. $10. Now you won't get my $10 prop here, but I will um, electronically give you $10. Or if you kick it out of school, we can do a money order. But I've got PayPal. I have Apple Pay. Um, I can do Zelle. Um, my sister will do Venmo and Facebook Pay. So we've got six ways to get you your money. Come on. $10 for the pattern. Throw that over in my box there. Oh, and of course, you are going to need some stuffing. So I have a little baggie of stuffing. Now, I don't know if this will be enough to do two gnomes but stuffing is pretty inexpensive, but I tried to stuff as much stuffing down in here as I could. And then we have a gnome butt, and I am going to include, this one is not cut out as great as this one, but I am gonna cut, put two gnome butts just in case you want to do the muffacorn one. <sighs> and I have some of the log got on it. Um, I have a scrap ball of white yarn for beards and braids. And then I have a log for him to sit on or him and her will have to share the log because I only have a few more left and I have to send some out to the ladies that already won the gnomes and then I think I have enough for the gnomes for the rest of the year. So pieces of the log may come off onto this white yarn and I'm really sorry about that if it does. Okay, so that's it. That's what January's gnome is going to be. So I figure if you want to be entered into the giveaway to receive the January gnome bundle, then all you need to do is comment down below and somehow work the word January into it. So that way I know that that you want to be included on the gnome bundle. So I'm gonna put everything back down in here. Hopefully I've not missed anything that you will need. I will double check before, but I think I got everything. So 
I kind of hastily got this ready tonight because I'm running a little bit behind. Okay, let me just, I know. I just want to get it all back down in here so that I don't forget anything. Nothing gets lost out of it. Oh, some more pieces of the log came off on that. Sorry. Okay. So again, congratulations, Sue. I'm so glad that you won. And you need to just make sure that you contact me down below. Um, I'll give you a week. And if I haven't heard from you by next week, Tuesday, then I'll have to move along and pick somebody else. So make sure you get a hold of me. And I want to thank everybody who is with me on this journey. Um, everybody who just, you know, sticks with me and, and keeps coming back and leaves me those comments and stuff. So if you um, are new here and you're not subscribed, um, you can hit that button that subscribe button and that way um you'll be able to follow me along on this crochet journey that i'm on um i do love when you guys give me a thumbs up it makes me happy i just love seeing those thumbs up so if you don't mind you can drop me a thumbs up if you want to and as always i love 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 the comments they are my favorite part Sometimes it takes me a minute to get everybody answered, but it is always my goal to make sure that I answer everybody's comment because I truly appreciate them from the bottom of my heart. And if you take the time to interact with me, I want to take the time to interact with you because, hey, that's what this whole thing is about. That's why I started this channel. And yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.